allowing three women weight classes out of, uh, we have 11 women weight classes and they're only allowing three, which still isn't fair for women while the men have, you know, their 10 Olympic weight classes. So there's still a lot of unfairness going on with it. Um, hopefully for 2016, they'll allow more weight classes after they see our performance in the Olympics. Yeah, I want to win it like at first, like at 110, then 119, then 25. Um, and then um, I do want to learn the business of managing boxers and promoting things like that and getting to it. I used to fight at um, 54 kilos, 119 pounds, and now I moved down to 112, which is 51 kilos. If they would have had all our weight classes, I would have stood at 119. It's, it's where I feel more comfortable and strong compared to having to lose weight. At first it was um, difficult, my body got used to it, but um, it does make you weaker. You don't have the power you had before, but that's why now I'm going through strength training to get that power back. You know, I'm, I'm pretty close with the two girls that I'm with. I'm comfortable with them. I've known Queen since 2011, and the other girl, who's, her name is Franchon Cruz. Me and her are really co close friends, actually. We, we speak almost every day on the phone. So I'm pretty comfortable with them, and the guys are cool as well. Um, I got to know them in the last two tournaments, so. I feel comfortable with the team and the coaches are really nice and they're just always there for us whenever we need anything. Knowing they're there just, it makes you feel good because a lot of times the whole stadium's against you. When we went to Venezuela, it was just like crazy. I had fought against a Venezuelan and the, that whole stadium was against me and it was a big stadium and it was packed. They had drums playing in the background. Like I couldn't, I couldn't hear my teammates anymore. <laughs> so I plan to turn pro after that. Um, I do want to win a couple of different titles, maybe at different weight classes as well. Pro boxing it is a different pace than amateurs. In the amateurs, you only have four rounds to score your points, and everything is just scored off points. So if I knock you down it still equals to me just jabbing you in the face. So, where in the pros, they go by point system and they go by power, technique, things like that. So, it is different. So, in the amateurs, we do have to throw a lot of punches. I say the pros, it will be probably a slower pace because you fight more rounds, so you don't want to lose all your energy those first few rounds. Amateurs, you just gotta come out swinging. <laughs> <laughs>